I do is I unplug the other one and then just turn the volume down on my for okay. um, Have you been swimming at all? Or underwater? Even in the bathtub? Okay. And have you been cleaning your ears with any kind of Q-tips? You have. Have you had any cold recently? Any kind of runny nose, sore throat? And last question. Are you experiencing any dizziness?
myself a Prada boyfriend. It's not very polite. Don't do that. inside of his nostrils here.
Keeping up in here is a little bit. Totally normal. Okay, so all you can do is I'm going to be preparing for your cleaning. Just a little bit. I had these little cups they can use to use the suction hook. That is a cup here. That's the one that works for the beefing the pressure.
Thank you. Don't be alarmed by this. It's all just to stew. Make sure that there is suction to not a pimple or anything. It's just water. So I'm going to gently replace the mess over your ear like so.
and then if you remember to add the most forward one now. Let's come down to the wire. If you need to look back to it. Try to relax for a few minutes, okay?
eight on that side, so okay. I'm going to be saturating another cotton ball while I take care of the other ear, so that way we don't worry about any reoccurrence of the clogging. See what I can do about loosening up this side now as well.
touching it. I forgot, I want to check with my horoscope and see. Now, I'm going to saturate that cotton and put it in this here. you're able to hear me okay? Okay. Real quick, let's make sure with the whisper test, okay? So, go 
going to whisper a couple numbers in each of your ears that I would like you to repeat for me, okay? So, on this side, we'll start around 82. Okay. 66. Excuse me. Now I'm going to be turning your head slightly, okay? While I'm going to be watching your eyes, so I'm going to be really staring at you. But I need to watch and make sure that I don't see something we call nystagmus, which is when the eyes kind of flicker. It occurs when we feel like we're losing our balance, which can be the case if there's fluid in the ear when we move. We have these little grains in our ears that move around just so, so that way we maintain our equilibrium. If there's fluid in the ear, it can block their ability to move correctly, which can trigger a sort of a seasick kind of feeling, and that can be reflected in the eyes. So, I'm going to rule out that being an issue by turning your head. I'm going to gently place my hands on either side. Here comes that stare. I'm going to turn your head just like so. And then turn your head back to the other side. Just like so. And back to me. Okay. How do you feel? again. So, placing my hands, turning your head, and turning your head the other way, and back to me. Still doing okay. I just want to completely rule out the presence of an ear infection and I'm just making sure there's no sign of drainage in the back of the throat that we might have loosened up and we're allowed to release.
Are you feeling like you're having any kind of sniffling need? Like your nose is plugging up at all? Okay, good. So then I think we can safely say that this was just wax clogging up. Sometimes that can happen if we're listening to particularly loud music. It can happen with the use of Q-tips. Sometimes it just happens. Um, <clears throat> so really important in the future, though, that you do avoid using Q-tips. You can use them on the external portions of the ears, but when you put them inside of the ear canal, it can actually press the wax deeper in causing an impaction, and the more wax that we produce, the more that gets impacted. So then it starts becoming a problem to the point that it was today, where you're not able to hear. So that's why it's really important to use safer ear cleaning care that can be used with water, even just sort of Laying your head back in the bathtub can do it. You can come in here and we can do a lavage where we kind of flush it with water. Um, or you can use something called a curette, which has a little loop instead of a cotton pad that can just sort of gently pull out any wax and it's definitely safer to use. Just you want to stay more towards the end. Don't go deep into the ear because that can get you in contact with your eardrum, which can be problematic. Generally, if you need to clean your ears, it's best to make an appointment to come in and have us do it for you though, okay? Okay. Let's get these things off of you now, okay? So I'm gonna run now. scissors. I evidently left them off. Or left them out. So. Put you back. out of the sleeves. for some ear drops, okay? And I would like you to use these twice a day for the next week. After that, you can use them as needed. So, what is that thing doing? Oh, come on. Is it gonna fall? Of course. 
It's like watching it in slow motion. Okay, so as I was saying, you're going to use these drops twice a day for the next week, and then after that as needed. So if you start feeling like your ears are clogging again, or you're feeling like a production of wax, then you can start using them again. But definitely at that point, also make an appointment to come in. Okay, just checking for a pharmacy. Sorry, just writing up my notes really quickly before I step out so that way I don't forget anything. gonna get this called in to your pharmacy, which I see is the Safeway on Main. Is that correct? Okay. So we'll get that called in and I'll give it to my medical assistant when I step out of here to have her call. Um, and then hopefully it'll be filled by the end of the day. Usually it should be. Usually pharmacies have this in stock, so I don't think it'll be a problem. 
and if it is and you need us to call it in to a different pharmacy more than happy to do so just let us know okay, okay. do you have any questions for me before i step out you think of anything, feel free to give me a call. And I will be calling you in a week to check in and make sure that those drops did the trick and that you're not having any issues with your hearing, okay? Okay. It was good to see you. Talk soon.